J, which number? Well, I'm just thinking the whole thing, I, you know, like I said, I was attending these meetings. I don't really think Jay was really looked into as much as it should have been. I, I think there was a lot of discussion going back and forth exactly on this. Mm -hmm. And I just think it needs more to a look. You're right. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm both counts, and you're right. And uh, the discussion and the decision of the zoning board at the time and the way that the sign regulations were thought that they would look, there's be a ton of graphics and many, you know, just highly prescriptive as well. That um, for now, to have this format for the sign regulations, and that would be one of those things that we would take up after this video is adopted to get those more robust. And another one is going to be a lighting standards. And, and, I'd like to develop a true model lighting ordinance um, in for that this ordinance. Changed back to town court. And 
If that being said, and if you look at that while it's receiving recommendations, and it was even asked, should we have not invited the citizens or told the citizens that we are putting a new overlay on the town core? I mean, you're creating a new district. Um. And I think, and I still feel like, that they should have been notified. So, um my thought there is that um, two things. First of all, I remember the zoning board saying that no, it wasn't necessary, and that was for two reasons. Um, they thought it was because it was an overlay district was one thing, but this district is actually defined as the area of 1,200 feet west of Summerfield Road, excluding the area that is within the existing town core district. So it's it's nothing that's going to that town core district. So this overlay overlay doesn't apply in that area that's delineated as the town core district. So you, another way to think of it is go 1,200 feet west of Summerfield Road and subtract that area that's within the town court district. And that was the zoning board's consensus that that was why it was necessary. I, I also just remember right. Even, even if, I mean, there have been meetings right and left about this with public notice that people who are paying attention and doing their civic duty could participate in it. So, I mean, I think you have a little bit of a game to be well, talking I'm, about I'm, 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 Because I'm like, and I, and I will finish up with this comment, is <clears throat> there's been, to me, this is just my opinion. Everybody's got one, my truth. There has been very little to almost no public participation. Not everyone has access to the internet. This is the first town council meeting that has been open to the public. Now we choose this time to adopt the UCO. <coughs> because we have to, right? That was part oh, that was part of my question. Um, I forgot that. Um, if we don't pass the UDO by June 30th, with the 160D included, are we still in compliance with the state and is the town, is the town zoning authority put on suspension? The town zoning authority is not suspended. Uh, what would happen on July 1st is that to the extent that anything in our zoning ordinance is inconsistent with 160D, you would have to apply 160D instead of what's in our zoning ordinance. So you have to do it in one day? No. If it came up? It, it, well, if, if it happened that we had not adopted the UDO or had not made our zoning ordinance, 160B compliant. What would happen on July 1st is if the zoning ordinance was inconsistent with provisions of Chapter 160D in some respect or procedural respect or whatever, we would have to apply the requirements of 160D instead of what our zoning ordinance said with respect to that particular issue. So it supersedes the the new uh, 160D supersedes the 160. A, and then we would go by the one well, sixty D. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so, but anyway, um, the town manager has taken nine tweet years to finish. To me, there's too many consultants on the years that have worked on the video. Um, 2020 retreat was told to work on one sixty D. One year later, we had to rush and hire a consultant to complete the 160D. I wish I could feel better knowing that I could trust the staff. I have seen where the committee and board was overridden by staff. This is a major development book that would change the look and feel of Sunfield. This request is not consistent with the town's adopted comprehensive plan because there's so many areas, you know, area 10, area was it, 6, um, and I just don't think that we're going to keep the harmony of the town that we have with some of the new laws that we're going to affect. What if you people are running? Do you have anything else, Captain? Let me make this comment. We've had this this uh, book, if you will, 400 and some pages, is it not? 
450. Yes, yes, almost 450. We've had for not days, but weeks. And obviously you've looked through it. And all those questions that you asked could have been easily answered as they were by staff as you called them. <coughs> Your comment about not having an internet, uh, anyone could have come down to town hall and looked at this at any time that they wanted to. It was there and for them. So how long have we been working? How long has this council, how long has this town been working on UDO, Mr. Manager? Uh, since before I came. Well, we're now, yeah, you're going to get a chance to rebuttal, that will be fine, but you're going to let me finish first because I, I, I do the courtesy of making sure everybody lets you finish. This whole thing has been come about and come about over years and years and years. It has been put off and put off and put off. This council is dedicated to making sure that we get it, that we have it. This audience that was out here, and they numbered a lot more, uh, was there with the idea and the interest that they won't see something like this happen. This council is doing its due diligence by doing this in a timely manner, trying to do it in a timely manner. And again, I go back to these questions that you asked really would have very little interest to anyone uh, that hadn't already looked at it and hadn't already decided where they need to be or what they uh, need to ask. So I think this is my opinion, it's my opinion, that what you've done is you've wasted some time. But now, with that, and after I've stated my opinion, please be sure about it. You're more than welcome. Okay. If you told us to go and make, do our concerns and send it to the plant. I did, I got no response. <laughs> So, well, they instructed us for those concerns to be delivered to me by Monday. They did not get there until Wednesday. Tuesday. It was Wednesday. It was past Monday, no matter what. But either way, it was past Monday. And I checked with Scott and said it was past the time they were supposed to be in. And that's for my consideration of the funds I have to manage. But you couldn't have answered those few questions. We're not, you're not going to argue with staff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
a wonderful job and also contributed thousands and thousands of hours of work. Uh, so we just have so much appreciation for those individuals. And, uh, under the leadership of our manager, our attorney, our town planner, uh, and you too, Dee, because you're sitting up there. <laughs> but uh, with great appreciation, I make a motion to approve the Unified Development Ordinance for the conditions recommended by the Planning and Zoning Board, uh, being the proposed UDO is consistent with the town's adopted comprehensive plan, is in the public interest because it promotes the health and safety and general welfare, welfare uh, plus our UDO committee, uh, and with the proposed changes made tonight added in, uh, th this request is consistent with the town's adopted, adopted uh, comprehensive plan because it provides for appropriate housing and residential development and is reasonable and is in the public interest as it maintains and promotes public health, public safety, and general welfare. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further comment? I'd like to thank the citizens that have, that have been actively involved in the and up the long process, but I think we can look back and say we're proud of the work we've done. Yeah, I, I know I was. And they are proud of the work. And uh, thank you all for being here tonight. All your comments. Hold on this moment. I would like to suggest that we also make it effective July 1st. The effective date of July 1st. We just have to have friendly. Yes. Yeah. Maintains and promotes public health, safety, and general welfare of our community, and that it become effective July 1st, Second. 2021. It's all I was going to get by with no correction from over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I want to thank the number of citizens, but also, as, as John was pointed out, the, the council volunteers that work. Incredibly hard on all council members, uh, even the folks that we didn't see eye to eye with. I appreciate uh, when we were able to work together as we did. I want to thank the council. I want to thank the prior council. I want to thank everyone who's been involved in this because, as, as you mentioned, Tim, this has been a long, tedious process uh, to get where we are now. I think it's a very good product. Uh, again, the UDO committee, the zoning committee, everybody that's worked on it has been mostly a very good team effort. And because of that, I'm very, very appreciative. Having said that, hearing no further comments, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, signify by saying no. Aye. It carries, and Hades is not too late. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to rush through this next part here to get to the town business. There's a, something coming up later on, which is the uh, closed session. And uh, you know, so I want you to hear everything that you wanted to hear or may have come to. Uh, Mr. Manager, quickly through A, B, and C. Okay, 13A, uh, this is uh, in essence just council's uh, um, uh, chance to uh, approve the receipt of federal funds from the American Rescue Plan, those funds that are coming through the federal government to the state. Uh, to us, uh, the legislation says you ultimately have to approve that officially. And instead of doing it by resolution, you could just do it by a simple motion uh, this evening. And uh, we have suggested one on your agenda sheet, 13 Yes. In accordance with NCGS 168-17.1, I move to accept Federal American Rescue Plan funding that will be dispersed through the state of North Carolina and delegate authority to the town manager to execute any necessary agreements on behalf of the town. Second. Second. I have a motion to two seconds. Uh, any comment? Seeing and hearing none. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Say no. I have 13D. Um, this is just a request from Gilbert County to extend our current contract that was last uh, revisited in 2016 for collection of our taxes, of which we pay a uh, fee as a limited services government. And uh, their request is that we just extend that another three years, which would take it through June 30th of 2024. And they are requesting this change by tomorrow. So if you approve this this evening, we'll let them know. Uh, in the morning. And we need to sign it tonight as well. Motion to approve the interlocal agreement on tax collection. That's presented. Second. <laughs> Motion again, two seconds. I'll vote 
the table. All right, read your comments. I need a buzzer. <laughs> all, all those. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, say no. Item 13C, briefly, uh, Town Hall, can, the project continues to evolve, mostly working on site assessments that are underway. Uh, we are expecting a July Town Council meeting presentation uh, from our architects. Uh, and the planning department, our uh, land use plan, um, we've already covered it this evening in the links within our news and notices. I took you there if you have any um, questions about that with our ETJ that's been brought up this evening. Uh, the county is uh, con considering um, that topic and uh, will likely have a, a decision from them in mid-July. And um, with Parks and Recreation, if you use our uh, community park and notice the, the high water level and the pipe stopped up thanks to our uh, busy beavers, uh, beaver, uh, we have uh, taken steps to unclog all that uh, yesterday. That work is complete, and that's all I have for you this evening. Reports, updates, and comments from Mayor and Council. Do anyone have any reports or updates? I do have a question for Scott. Okay. Um, do we have, she don't usually do a town event report. Has she did one for the movies in the parks? She was in the middle of that, and we uh, talked about that internally, how we, um, you, you end up hearing that from us, and, uh, you know, the results of those events, and uh, I asked her not to do that uh, for this last event. Um, we, we don't usually get any questions about that, and um, it's, it's a practice that we don't have anywhere in policy that dictates that we do it. It was It's just something that was done, and we've carried over and done it and done it, and it's a process improvement. Uh, I question the need to do those regularly. If you really want those reports uh, completed with each event, we can continue that. But it, it feels like a lot of busy work, mostly when we have other things to do. Any further comments? I love those reports. Being done, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn to go into closed session. Move, move, close, move. I still got some questions. I don't understand my question. I have a motion on the table, sir. You don't have any questions on the table? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Joe. Please, you have other questions? I have to ask you again. Uh, have you got the latest cost estimate on the museum hall? If you're talking about an official one from uh, the Senate, uh, no ma'am. As I said recently, uh, we're very close to that three and a half and still uh, just trying to work through site costs to see where we are. So they don't have anything official, but we're close. Okay. And the last thing is this right here. Do we have y'all answered this? Is this um, in reference to the ETJ? Yeah. And that, um, that's a legal matter that um, referring to the notice related to the ETJ on that particular. Is it related to the ETJ?